Hello. Hello everyone. The topic is random updates. Random of up, random updates on what is going on. You know what is. If you don't really get to know, I'm the one to call you, JC, Baba. What is going on in Nigeria right now? That's what. Akubagado, Babaji, Akubagado, Babaji. Akanis, we are going to see. Enjoy address. Welcome to my life. Otega can be a life here because I've been trying to, you know, do one or two things. So I'm not I'm on life. I'm be on life. But today, Kai Babaka, if you name in Nigeria now, so many topics like Ani Kumaka campaign, election, can be double do that one. Then I put hundred million to you know I calculate the ego now I put election now I I put a goal make election up to capo say twenty billion so our leaders were twenty billion Nigeria cana cadio toward balance of world the other time I made a post I made a post about a review like I saw the post in for the love of Anambra. That is the first people that posted that thing. As I, I normally do review, right? In any topic, I do review. I call it Jidekaiji review. So, aside from the fact that we do magazine and all that, but I normally, as a media person, I do my review. Depending on the topic I want to talk about, I can talk about product and services. I can talk about random, maybe international or um, our within the nationwide update so i made emphasis about p2b song because i saw the post i was like okay let me try to reason the whole thing first of all thank you for joining me please if you are joining me let me know that you are here say hello say something so that i can give you a shout out i can you know you know acknowledge that you are here please don't just come and peep and go it's not fair just if we share the posts okay if you get value from all from this video please share okay so tell me where you are watching me from whether you are watching me from nigeria or outside nigeria please don't don't hesitate to tell me that you are here so let me just let me just up this so that you can hear what i'm saying you can all hear okay um you know my point in that post, in that review I made. Many youth, many youth are so like many Nigerians, especially the youth that are out of school. That is not what they want to hear. If you come to do campaign, nobody is stopping you from saying what you want to say. We love most of the lead, uh, people that are coming out to you know. We love them. Peter B is a very good you know. I, he would make a good president, but at the end of the day that his son have a car or doesn't have a car shouldn't be the 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 the, the man manifesto should it be the one of the major things that he always said that in his manifesto but that doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense everybody i am entitled to my opinion my opinion is valid your opinion is valid you can say what you want i can say what i want how i feel about any issue so you shouldn't judge me or judge anybody by saying any what they feel about anything you know nigeria's youths are suffering many many of of them are out of school asu strike how much is asu strike that our leaders cannot pay off so that our children will go to, go back to school i can't i did not see any reason you will come up and come out and start saying your son own a car your son doesn't own a car no that is not what i'm saying your, your son can own a car it might not own a car that is not the main issue your son is living his best life he's at he's living his best life in abroad even if he's not in abroad but let us all know that 80 90 percent of 
politician leaders, their children are, school, are schooling abroad. They are living their best life. So the best thing you can say is quit the, it's not about comparing. It's not about telling us as if it's achieve, achievement. It's not achievement because you give your son the best that you can. What the normal, you know, Nigeria, what normal average Nigeria is looking for is for them to also have, for their children to also have the best life. Everybody deserves the best life. Everybody deserves to, deserve to go to the best school. Even if you are not schooling abroad, at least the one you have here in Nigeria, let it be working. But it's not working. It's not working. Do you know how many, how many, how many months? I think how many months that these children are out of school? So what are we competing? What are we comparing about car or no car? That is not the issue. So especially people that are getting me wrong in that aspect so that you know exactly what my point is. My point is that aspect is irrelevant. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't make it. It's not necessary for you to start come out and start saying all those things. It doesn't make sense. The, the most important thing is that we people, what, what the masses want, want is not what he's saying. So you shouldn't be saying that in that aspect, okay? So another thing I want to point out is the fact that be yourself. I'll keep saying about be yourself. People will come up and be criticizing you. White man money came, more uh, uh, released second album. I think I was, <laughs> I've forgotten the title, but the title is somehow I know, and it's not really my kind of music. But I shouldn't condemn. I will not condemn him. Because that is what he wants. You cannot force him to come and start uh, uh, doing restaurants and doing food. It's his life. It's his music. After all, uh, what they call it? Uh, what 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 is the name of this um, this guy? That is um. I think what is the name of this guy that is doing a lot of um, Obi Kubana media indoors? Yeah, because he's a tough guy. He's more the portable, right? Zazu, Zazu is singing his own, and even his song doesn't even make sense. But he's making it, and he's, you know, everybody, whether you like them or you don't like them, you not force them, to, or you not force people to do what they want, they don't want to do. Allow them, let them be. Um, uh, you, I go talk. Also, release Grace. People start advising him, don't worry, it's better you focus on your comedy, don't, don't go into music. Who are you to tell people what to do? Like, seriously, I don't understand. You will just leave, you, 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 instead of you to channel your energy in, some, in something, that will, something that has to do with you or something like that, that would be like more productive, you are going and be, you know, stressing yourself over, over what people want, what people are doing for themselves that make them happy. You don't know whether that thing is just like a therapy to them. It can be, it can be something that is saving their life. It can be something that is making them to their, for their mental state to be normal. Because you don't know what makes people happy. So you don't even have the, the you know, don't even have the right to start telling people what to do. Things that, something that make people happy, allow them to be. Hmm. Another one is, um, I'm just, this is a, like I said, this is a random topic about what is happening in Nigeria. We are talk another thing is this thing that happened, the Sokoto. The truth is that justice for Deborah, people are saying, people are condemning the, you know, some people are not condemning it. But what I'm trying to say is that we don't even have leaders that is going to stand up for all this for us we don't even have law we have to even start looking to looking because at it is now i don't even know we don't even have a country anymore because a country where there is no law where there is no justice where we say justice for the borough justice for this person justice for the we keep ranting we keep talking about justice justice but Justice, you can you never see any justice, any tiny justice, nothing. Before you know it, the matter will just die. That is how we keep living our life in this country. Who do we offend? Who do we offend? Like, seriously. Hmm. I wonder why 
we are in the same country with Muslims that believe in when you offend their God or when you talk about something like that, they will be the one that will kill the person. Allow your God to be the one that will kill the person, not you. Taking law into your hands is not fair. It's not okay. We, 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 if, if we continue living in a country whereby anybody can die at any moment, Nigeria keep happening to everybody. Like, we are not, if it's not a one Nigeria anymore. There's nothing like one Nigeria. Because in Nigeria where you cannot law, you don't have any law that guide over some certain things. You don't have any justice that can, you know, people can, you know, the government can sanction justice for something. We keep, you know, taking laws into our hands. Like we keep doing jungle justice and think that jungle justice is, is okay. Like after everything, justice for this, we we'll keep, we'll keep chanting Justice for this person, justice for this person. That same justice never never happened. I will every before you know it, everything will just die off. We are talking about uh, um, how the lead, how the youth will come into governments. Enough of recycling of old leader, old leaders. Before you know, my my daughter said something about all this because my daughter. My daughter, my daughter is 14. Okay. She said all her life, the person, the only person that she knows that I've been ruling Nigeria is Buhari. Because it's almost eight, it's eight years now. So one person leading Nigeria, another old person come again at Tiku, this person, you keep you keep hearing old names, old names. Why can't this our leaders give the youth chance to lead? The youth self, we, we need to also step up. We need to also step up. The youth need to step up because Big Brother just announced their program again. Before you know it, they will not divert youth attention to Big Brother. I'm not saying that Big Brother, you shouldn't watch it or you shouldn't, they should, you should stop their business after they are doing their business. But I'm pleading and begging, Big Brother, please. Can you just please add a title or a team that connects to maybe get your PVC? Uh, you know, you're you not too young to rule, uh, um, you know, you're not too young to run the, uh, you know, to lead. Not rule anyway. You are not too young to lead because you, sh you should be a leader, not a ruler. Because they are ruling of a thing that don't harm than good. So that big brother alone can distract. So if it must hold, let it be something that the team, let it the team has to do with something about getting the youth involved in leadership of the government, getting their PVC, coming out to vote for the best you know leader so far. Okay, the last but not the least, I want to talk about. There is a recent video that is going on. <laughs> there is a recent video that is going on. You need to see that video. Like young girls, they are singing, carry me, they go. Jesus, carry me, they go to my husband's house. Like, they are young, young, beautiful girls. Like, seriously, you are not supposed to be doing that. You are not supposed to be. I don't know who is the, uh, uh, the founder of that ministry. That What you are supposed to be doing in that place is empowerment skill the pe there, should, there should be a a training going on there how to like try to you know put your energy on how to act be be a better version of yourself be productive get a skill uh, be passionate about your talents and you know work hard don't look for as young as you are you start you don't have to start singing about because you are not the only one that is going to marry yourself the man that's supposed to marry you supposed to also be singing with you but we are by you are the one that is only singing it that is why you are eager to get married you get able to carry you to go to your husband once you get to your husband you will not empower yourself first of all forget about going to your, you have to empower yourself first empower yourself channel your energy in doing something don't worry before you know it as long as you are you are doing something and empowered before you know it, you see, naturally, God will attract that your best companion to you. you. It will come naturally. You don't have to go to church 
and live uh, whatever. You don't have to be in that atmosphere singing that song just for, for you to get a husband. Why? Hello? Ah, this is kind of, is not good for our young girls. That kind of mindset is not good for our young girls at all. Because you are just giving too much importance to something that you're not supposed to give too much importance. And that is why most of our young girls keep making mistakes. We keep making mistakes. You, before you know it, you fall into a wrong hand. Before you know it, you start saying, pray for me, hide my ID. And, uh, uh, domestic violence this, domestic violence that. Because you have already put your mind and your brain and everything about you into carry you to go to your husband's house. Instead of you to channel your brain to what am I going to, what skill am I going to do to better myself, to be the better, best version of myself. You, you just be, you're supposed to, you should be, what you are thinking about is not what you're supposed to think. In. Those people I saw in that video carry me, they go, they are young, young, beautiful, beautiful girls. Why are you there singing that song and, you know, trying to carry you to go to your husband's house? What kind of mindset is that? Like, we need, we really need to work on our mindset in this nation. Like, sometimes I wonder how did I even uh, get to be in Nigeria? Like, the mindset is something that we need to like really work on ourselves. We need to work on our everything. We really, we, we also need to work on our 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 young ones. We need to work on our young ones because. It's what they are feeding, depending on if you feed yourself with negativity, with low, a slow, something that is low self esteem, you will not have confidence. You will not have confidence to be who you are supposed to be. You will not have confidence to even enter that husband's house when the time comes. You will not even have confidence to even do your business very well. You will not have confidence to talk to your clients, your customer. Because you have already crushed your confidence by thinking that you, you don't you want anything. What you want is only for God to carry you, they go, go your husband's house. Hey, now oh, wow. So, um, I know that many people will catch replay. If you are going to catch replay, anytime you're watching this, please drop your comment, drop your opinion. I would like to hear from you. Also, tell me where you're watching me from. If you are catching the play, just type a hashtag replay that you are catching the play and tell me where you are catching the play that you pray from. So I will see you some other time. And um, before we go, let's just that's a little bit, you know, I like playing music when I'm, when I'm on live. But sometimes they used to, Facebook used to like censor it as a copyright movie music. Please, Facebook, I don't have the rights over this music. I just want to use it to... I'm dedicating this Imakonibu to our young girls, our young youth. Imakonibu, we are, we are not too young to lead. We can take the power from these old leaders. Imaponi Bundi youth, youth of this nation. You know what? We use the old leaders, sir. Who know what? What can they use? They use when they manipulate yes of evils. How we can go on? I walk away. So the youth who indeed the power of this nation, but we are not using our power very well. Regard to our young girls, Imaponi Bu. So you shouldn't be you shouldn't be in found in the church trying to pray over husband God carry you the go your husband house. Say no, you want more than that, baby. Baby girl, you deserve more than that. In my boy, you boost your confidence in everything you are doing, both in your personal life, both in your family, both in your business. When you boost yourself, when you boost your confidence, you can stand firm even in any challenges. I mean, okay. please tell me that you are here. It's very unfair 
that you come here, you not say hello. As if you are quarreling. We are not quarreling. Just say hello to me. Tell me where you are watching, where you are catching me from. Whether you are catching replay or you are catching me live, I would like to hear from you. Eh? I would like to go now, please tell me. I would like to get from you anytime you catch. If you think that I make sense from all the topic, all the things I talked about, please, I would like to hear from you. Alright? Don't forget, today the Kulu Jindyama sending you love and Hug, that is my slogan. Hang, cool, no, no, sending you thunder and fire. Make your choice. Take care, bye.